Listen to me very closely. What are you doing with what's available? Vitro, what are you talking about? I'm glad you asked. I was reading this story the other day and it was about talking about this soap maker and his preacher. They were on a walk together. And so they were taking this walk together and the soap maker asked the preacher a crazy question. He was asking, you know, Preacher, what is the use of religion? Like, what is the use of it? I mean, people are still going to be bad. I mean, it's all this turmoil in the world. Like, you do have all these prayers and the sermons. Like, what is the use of religion? And the preacher didn't say anything. They continued to walk. And then the preacher and the soap maker, they came across this child who was playing in the mud. And it was very dirty. And the preacher asked, wait, you're the soap maker. You said soap makes people clean. What's the use of soap? If that child is still dirty and the soap maker started to pray, he's like, no, 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 that's not the same. You know, soap is only good if it's used. And the preacher said, exactly. So is religion. But Troll, so what point are you trying to make to me that we all have something available to us? Information, product, service, the preacher or the soap. But it's no good to us unless we take advantage of it and actually use it.